Elizabeth used the word of the day once. Eleanor used it once. Nathan used it twice. Ums. We had Charlene with three ums, Tracy with two, Ron with two, Chriselle with five, Sherry with three, Nathan with two. Oz. Charlene with three, Elizabeth with one, John with one, Ron with two, Chriselle with four, Sherry with four, Nathan with nine. With respect to grammar, Charlene, you used kind of, sort of as a filler. And what came afterwards was, I thought, a non sequitur. I'm going <laughs> to, it might be nitpicky here, but I'm going to mention it because I read in the Toastmasters website that you can mention non sequiturs. So. What are they? Non sequiturs? When something doesn't follow from what you're saying. Meaning, if I'm talking about cooking something and then all of a sudden I mention car keys, it's a non sequitur. It doesn't follow from what you're saying. So. But you, a lot of times people use it as fillers to fill gaps. It's kind of like an um or an uh. You say kind of, you know. And sometimes what happens afterwards is not is not a something that follows from what happened before. So, right. yeah. uh, Charlene, you repeated the second of twice. Elizabeth, great expressions, dynamic speech. I loved the word that you used, unscathed. It gave a lot of meaning to what you were saying. A couple things that I noticed, and again, I may this might be nitpicky here. Come and watch. It was an incomplete sentence that you used. And then, I don't know if you said this right or if I misheard it, but it said, it were lights around the pool. There were, there were lights around the pool. Ricardo, should I do Ricardo? No, sure. Okay. Let's see. Just two was repeated. Doing his, doing this was repeated at second grade as opposed to in second grade. And I'll reserve my comments for him later. <laughs> Tracy, Toastmaster versus, I think, you may, you may, you may have meant uh, Table Topics Master. I'm not sure. You, you did that twice. Eleanor, there was different kinds of flowers versus there were different kinds of flowers. She was almost tripped. I think you meant to say sh she tripped or almost tripped. Role model is some players versus the role model may have been some players. Ken Stark, what's the chances of that? I'm not sure if it's what's the chances of that or if it's what are the chances of that. That's a question for you, Ken, because I'm not sure <laughs> which one may be the better way of, of doing that. You also used you know once in there as a filler. Chriselle. You said, so I was, so got mad. I'm not sure if, if that was what you wanted to use, but I noted that. You know, like was also used a few times. Sherry, blurring, blur was repeated. And, and was repeated. Then, now was a non sequitur. And that's all I have. Wow. wow. <laughs>